Hi, my name is Jeff and I'm with Zscaler. Today I'm going to show you how we can detect the Lapsus playbook with Zscaler Deception. Lapsus is not your typical advanced persistent threat. This is a pure extortion and destruction ransomware operator. They're not interested in being stealthy and staying under the radar. In fact, they're going to advertise their attacks on social media and recruit your employees as a method of gaining credentials and access into your infrastructure. Here we see an explicit recruitment offer. Once Lapsus has credentials, the next thing is find a place to use them. A common piece of reconnaissance is DNS, looking for points of entry into hallowsbank.com today. I'm looking for virtual private access and virtual desktop infrastructure points of presence, such as this VPN2 and CTX subdomains that we see. Jeff Spencer happens to be a contract IT admin at hallowsbank.com. And so has VPN access as well as VDI access. Into hallowsbank.com. And start our day of work inside the bank as an IT administrator. Jeff Spencer as a contract admin has a small area of responsibility. About 200 IP of space responsible for performing work. However, as a Lapsus operator, I also now have access inside the domain to do reconnaissance on the inside of this network inside hallowsbank.local. What I'm going to do now is look for things like administrator and the service principal names associated with those to see where else I might be able to go in this environment. We're finding a VM admin and a DB admin uh, and some places to go with them. And this is good because I'm finding the test DB87 that I use regularly as an IT administrator inside of hallowsbank.com. And so that's good. However, I want to see about this 86. I haven't seen that before. A way I can do that is called a Kerberos attack, where I am now asking for the exact hash of that ticket to go become that user on that specific place, such as that test DB86 is that DB admin. Perhaps I could also reverse this hash to clear text and use it elsewhere in the environment. That may take more time than I'm looking to do right now. So I'm going to do other things to try to uh, escalate my privilege. Let's look inside some of the things I'm responsible for or have access to. Let's look inside GitLab. Maybe we'll look around inside the SharePoint server. And those seem like very interesting things where I might want to. Yeah, great. Hmm. Oh, well, and, and see if I'm able to use and find some additional credentials elsewhere in the environment. Another thing I can do with this point of presence is listen to the network itself and see what I can find. A way of doing that is this tool called Inve, and a what I'm doing now is an LLMNR poisoning attack. Anyone on this network using LLMNR and sending out a request, I am responding to that request and then re listening for whatever is returned. Oftentimes, that's going to be credentials, and then maybe I can continue to use those as I pivot and laterally move inside this environment. We're seeing something there. Let's go ahead and stop this. Another way is that I, as a Lapsus adversary, might gather credentials off of this machine is a tool called Lasagna. 
what this is going to do is look around inside of vaults, passwords, stores, credential archives, uh, sessions, browser sessions, cookies, finding other methods uh, of storage of convenience for, for credentials. However, today I have not found what I'm looking for is something to, to use quickly on a new location. Another thing we can do is look around inside of the file system itself for places that uh, passwords may be located. A way of doing that programmatically is called find interesting files, which is going to search through the file system for interesting files that I as an adversary might want to utilize. For example, I'm finding this credential file here. which has my password for the database server and for the Swift server that I use regularly. However, what is new here is this Swift server and this FW12 that I don't typically interact with. And I'm gonna to attempt to use that new password on the new Swift 6 server I've never seen before. Which is good news for me because now I appear to have escalated my privileges and moved laterally in the environment to this new Swift messaging server inside of hallowsbank.com based on files that I found here in, in the UI in a programmatic way. I might have also pivoted here from the credentials I harvested on the wire via LLMNR. I might have found those inside that GitLab or the SharePoint instances. Might have found them actually inside of the database itself. There are a number of places that I, as an IT administrator contracting for Hallows Bank, would have ability to look around and see what more damage I can perform inside of this environment. I also may want to collect the files that I have access to and remove them for analysis later. Let's take a look at a Zscaler deception defense from this type of advanced persistent threat. Immediately as I come in, I can see that there's been quite a bit of activity inside of my environment. I'm going to click on the central piece of the administrative console. My tenant is named Decepticon, and I am currently receiving parsed summary information of the activities I have performed as an adversary member of Lapsus inside of Hallows Bank. Another click, and I have detailed information, including risk score description, examples for many of these where others have done bad with them, suggested mitigations you might want to perform, directly linked out to MITRE attack for what we have observed, and important fields of this specific event. We have a chronology of when things have occurred for your advanced threat hunters looking for specific fields of information and the logs that surfaces quickly and for your forensic capture needs we can download uh, packet captures. You are able to visualize your engagement 
with your adversary in a number of formats, helping you to th hunt threats in your environment. Zscaler Deception makes it easy for you to visualize how your adversary has engaged your environment over time. And here we are able to see a complete enumeration of the Lapsus playbook, which I have completed from initial access, reconnaissance, privilege escalation within the environment, privilege escalation within memory and active directory, lateral movement to discovered assets, and then file exfiltration. Every one of the actions that I performed as a lapsus adversary inside of Hallows Bank has been encountering a Zscaler deception decoy, which has made me believe as an adversary that I am making progress towards my goal of gaining a ransom from Hallows Bank.